Welcome to another episode of Prim's Earth Trek. This covers days 22 to 28, basically from after I've left Nottingham, whilst I walk through Lichfield and the whole way across Birmingham. Before I carry on, I want to thank uh, Ross Williamson and Charlie Barber for buying me multiple coffees. That's very kind of them. If you'd like to support this channel and my venture to walk across the world, go to the website primsearthtrek.com and on there you can um, donate money to my charity or you can buy me coffees or if you want to support it a bit more long term there's the uh, link to patreon anything would be welcome if you don't want to pay anything that's fine you can still support the track the, uh, the event by um, subscribing to this channel or by following me on, on uh, Facebook or on Instagram anything would be welcome the video is coming up now but if you want to hear my proposal for what should happen to Birmingham City that's at the end, so hopefully see you there. So now we're out the other side of uh, Nottingham. I was hoping these, this plantation, as it's labelled on the map, Blue, Bluebell Wood, as it should be called, was going to be a good place to camp, but it's a bit wide open. I have no idea how many people come here, maybe very few. But wherever I put my tent, it'll be very visible, so I need to keep looking. So it turns out I didn't need to camp in the plantation because the um, farm behind me, is there a farm behind me? There's a building somewhere behind me. I said I can set up a second my tent to steer in this field. So that's good. So, day 23. Saturday I think and had a very nice comfortable sleep on the farm last night and now I'm going to meet my brother and his partner in a town called Stapleford about two miles away for lunch. Do you want to, do you want to say anything because I'm videoing um. it now. <laughs> That's the food. Oh, I've got Cairo. Cairo doesn't have a, do, doesn't yeah. have a PhD. <laughs> He'll never have a PhD, even though he's capable of having a PhD. That's the person we're dealing with. Uh, the camera with. <laughs> Angela, move on. Angela's food. Angela, Angela's about to say something really wise now. <laughs> no, no get it off. <laughs> Turn it off. What, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki, sorry, you said Nikki. Nikki's a social worker. <laughs> and Nikki's got that food. So it's actually, Lasagna. Yeah. Lasagna. Thank you for thank you for your input by the way. <laughs> Day 24. And we're in the grounds of Elverston Castle, which we'll see in a minute. After the castle, there was just long, dreary walks through housing estates, which this part of Britain seems to be completely full of. Maybe everywhere is. And now, a bit more rural, bit more green, nice bridge there. And I think a canal's coming up. So that's good. I'm supposed to be here. This is Repton Preparatory School. Very grand. And not far outside the grounds of Repton is this little church. So it's day 25. Not sure how much you can hear because there's a dual carriageway on one side and a and a canal on the other. Um, so last night I had a comfortable night's sleep in some woods and then continued looking for some food this morning. No cafes or supermarkets anywhere on my route 
and then I saw a sign that said snack bar so I went down and followed it and had a couple of cups of tea a bacon sandwich and a sausage sandwich so that should keep me going for most of the day so now we walk down this canal um, to Litchfield it would be perfect if it wasn't for that road just a couple of meters away thanks to the white elephant that is the HS2 a railway line nobody wants or needs I've had to do a two mile, mile detour down the busy here eh, whatever this shit always to Litchfield just saying now in the centre of Litchfield the rain's about to come down I think Now Manchester and Sheffield, that's a proper cathedral. Now is the beginning of the day that takes me into the centre of Birmingham. I'll have uh, a whole day off in Birmingham. I found the cheapest hotel yet, £21 a night in the centre of Birmingham. Again, basic, but it should be okay. I'm in a place called King's Standing, which is very similar to King's Landing, the place off Game of Thrones, although there are not many castles around here. In the distance, you can see the skyscrapers of Birmingham about six miles away. About four miles from the centre and the M6 passes overhead. So getting into my cheap room last yesterday was a bit of a palaver with passcodes and things to pick up my key because there's no reception. But it's alright, it's fine. It's just a house. Um, and so now I'm walking into Birmingham city centre. Long. The canal. There's a route all the way to the centre on the canal so that's going to be a nice way in. Venice of the North. The city centre Gardens Park. It's not very big, but it's a nice little green spot in the middle of a city. Look at that. Oh, alien building. And this is what happens when uh, instead of doing your degree in architecture, you play Minecraft too often. There's an even better one on this corner. I mean, look at that, that's mental. You can see inside it. Another huge city with a very ordinary cathedral. The art gallery, but it fortunately is closed and it's taped off like it's been a murder scene. Edgebaston Reservoir, just a mile or two from the centre of town, centre of the city. You can see the skyscrapers over there. Now on the very edge of Birmingham and we're on the hunt. Oh, Monsley Bog. This woodland is apparently inspiration to Tolkien. Yep, so this is Monsley Bog. I'm not sure why I'm, why I'm here, but it was recommended. 
by Atlas Obscura. Oh, you made it this far, thank you. Um, yes, on this video, at one point I get um, driven off course by the HS2, which is supposed to be a high speed rail link that's going to um, improve the north, but it's not. Um, it's just going to mean that more people from the north can commute to London, it's going to suck more of the talent from the north down south. What really needs to happen, if we want to level up Britain, is to make opportunity further across Britain, and one quick way to do that one almost free way to do that would be to move the capital. Move the capital from London to Birmingham. I was surprised how, how cool Birmingham seemed to be becoming. I'd never been there before. I've driven past it, I've changed trains there, but I'd never seen the centre. And it's not bad. And I think if, um, if it, I could have a chance to be cool for a while, it's never been cool. Manchester's had its music and its football. Um, but Birmingham's only ever had noddy older fun, but not cool, and Jasper Carrot. Fun, but not cool. Birmingham City, not fun or cool. But this could be a chance. Move the city to Birmingham, build the new Houses of Parliament, put them in Birmingham so that MPs don't need to have a house down south. They can get to the centre of the country very easily. But it could be a chance to improve Britain and improve the North West, improve the North East and improve South Wales and remove some of the wealth from the South East. London's position near Europe used to be useful, but now we've turned her back on Europe. Well, now Boris has, and the Tories have turned her back on Europe. There's no point London being, the capital being in the southeast anymore. It may as well be in the centre of the country. So that's my proposal. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Write something in the comments. It'd be interesting to see what people think. So that's the end of this video. There'll be another one coming up quite soon that's already in the pipeline. So stay tuned. Subscribe please, subscribe.